Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks, and I'm showing you today a request that I got from my daughter. She loves hats. She loves all hats, wears a hat every day, even in the summer. So she wanted a bucket hat. So I designed a bucket hat really quick uh, in a notebook when I was sitting at a restaurant having a cup of coffee with Eric. So I thought that was pretty funny that it actually turned out the very first time because um, I didn't even have any yarn or a hook with me. But here's my bucket hat. This one's my obnoxious pink one. I'm keeping this one. This is the one she wanted. She wanted purple. So I made her this. And today I'm going to make one that's gray. But I use... Um, I had this as a double using the five and a uh, five millimeter hook that's called for on my Red Heart Super Saver and she wanted these purples. I used two skeins of the double strand at the same time to make a nice thick fabric. Same here with this pink. I forget the name of this pink. Probably obnoxious pink which is my favorite color. This one is purple tones so it's a little bit swirly and she'll be very excited that I'm going to give it, finally give it to her because she knows it's done and she has really been anxious for it. So I made that one with the purple and that one with the pink. Now today I'm going to try something different. I have a Bernat Pop. Bernat Pop in what color are you? In ebony and ivory. So it's black and gray tones and a little bit of like a almost white, creamy white right here. And this is still a 4, and it still wants a 5mm, but it's so much thicker than... So you can see the difference right here. So much thicker. I'm going to use a single strand and see what happens with that. So let's get started. I'm going to use the 5mm hook that it calls for to make a nice tight fabric. And you will want a stitch marker since we're going to be working in the round. And a clicker if you have one, otherwise a pencil and paper or something. So let's get started. All right, so I'm going to use the Burnett Pop today. I've got it untangled a little bit here. And we're going to start out with the magic circle because this works from the top down. So there's my magic circle, a magic ring, whatever you want to call it. Alright. Chain one. And you want to put six single crochets in your magic ring. I'm going to mark it just so everybody can follow along. And I love my stitch markers. We want to put six in our magic circle. Just normal single crochet. So there's two, three, four, five, and six and tighten it up a little bit. I usually wait until I get the next round in here to tighten it all the way just in case. Tighten it up a little bit. So there's round one. Easy peasy. Round two we're going to increase. So it's an increase when you're in the, working in the round in a circle like this. It's just two single crochets in every stitch that you already made. So I made six. So I am going to make two in every stitch all the way around. I'm going to move my stitch marker when I'm working in the round. It's really easy for me to lose track because I can get distracted. So there's our first one, two in every stitch. So still we're just working with single crochets. I would consider this a pretty basic beginner's pattern because working with single crochets is about as easy as you can get, especially if you're just learning. So the next stitch will get two single crochets, and the next get two single crochets. All the way around you'll end up with 12 in round two. And now I'm going to tighten it all the way. So there we have a circle. Easy peasy. All right, we're on to round three already. This is gonna we're gonna fly right through this. Okay, now we're gonna increase one more time. 
and we're going to take this from 12 up to 18 and the way we do that is we do a single crochet in the first stitch and then we're going to increase so the next stitch will get two single crochets one single crochet two single crochets and con uh, continue around with that repeat one single crochet two single crochets one single crochet and two in the next stitch there's round three and we are going to just keep increasing the next round is another increase we're going to increase from 18 to 24 and if you're familiar with working in the round and making a circle like this you're going to know the drill is I'm going to put a single crochet in there and mark it, but this one will be an increase. So there's another one in that same stitch. There's two in that first stitch. Single crochet in the next two, and then two single crochets. Whoopsie. single crochet in the next, single crochet in the next, and then two. So follow that repeat all the way around. There we go. There's our 24 for this round. Round 5, and you see how I'm staggering these when we do the increases? So try to keep it a little bit more flat. We're going to stagger our increases. So for round 3, we went single crochet. Round 3, I went a single crochet and then 2. So a single crochet in one and then 2 in the next stitch. For round 4, I did the increase of 2 single crochets in the first stitch and then I did my singles. So for round five, we're going to do start out with our single crochet. Try to keep it a little bit more round so it doesn't get that hexagony look. So there's the first one. This pattern will be an increase from what last time was. So it's three single crochets and then an increase of two in the same stitch. So there's our first one. There's one, two, and three and there's our increase right here of two and do that pattern all the way around one single crochet two single crochets three single crochets and then our increase of two in the same stitch do that all the way around and then the last stitch will be our increase of two in the same stitch there you go that was round five super easy See, you're just making a circle. It keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Working from the top down. Top down. So we're going to take out our stitch marker because I'm going to need it in a second. So for round six, we're going to start out with the increase, which would be two single crochets in the very first stitch for an increase. So there's two. One single crochet in each of the next four. One, two. Four, and then our increase of two, and then four stitches. And then our increase, and four single crochets. and then an increase of two in the same stitch and four single crochets increase
and there's our last four for this round. Look at that, making progress already, and that was round six. So you just keep going with those kind of a, with that kind of a pattern. If you know how to make a circle, you know where I'm going. The next one is another increase, so it's five single crochets, and then the increase of two single crochets in the same stitch. So we're going to start out with the five. So there was number one, two, three, four, five, and then the increase of two single crochets in the same stitch. Follow that repeat all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, and an increase. And I'll meet you back at the stitch marker. And our last stitch is the increase, so there's two single crochets in the same stitch. It's staying pretty round by doing the alternating of when you start with your with your in, where you start your increase. So if you do the increase in the first stitch, the next round you want to put it at the end of your single crochet crochet sequence. So it stays a little bit rounder. Otherwise, you get that little hexagony look. If you like the hexagon look, feel free. Either way will work. Right, we're on round eight already. So this time we're going to start with the increase, which is easy peasy. Single crochet, one and two in the same stitch. And then we're going to do six individuals. And an increase of two in the same, and then six. Four, five, and six. Yay! Right, so now we're on to round nine. We're going really fast. This is already working up and looking like something. It's so fun. So round nine, we are going to do seven single crochets and then the increase. So there's one. And do that all the way around. So again that was seven. There's number one. There's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and then the increase of two in the same stitch. Continue all the way around to the stitch marker. Easy, easy. One, two, five, six, seven, and the last stitch is our increase, which is two in that same stitch. And staying pretty round. I like it. She's going to be so excited. She's ended up with three new hats today after I'm done with this. It gets purple, pink, and this wonderful ebony and ivory brunette pop. She's going to be really excited. All right, here goes the round 10. So if you're following along, you can probably figure out that we're going to do two as the increase. And this round will be the increases first. So there's two in the first stitch and then eight single crochets in the next eight stitches. increase of two in the same stitch and work all the way back around to the stitch marker. Six, seven, and eight. Mm 
That looks great. All right, round 11. Just going to keep increasing one more time. So we're going to start with the single crochets. This last round started with the increase. So here's a single crochet. And we're going to do nine. One up from every row. So there's the first one. We're going to do nine single crochets. And nine. And an increase, two in that same stitch. All the way around, back to the stitch marker. With nine and two. Seven, eight, nine. And our increase in the last stitch. One, two. That was round 12. So we're going to go on. I'm sorry, that was round 11. Now we're going on to round 12. We're going to start with the increase this time. So there will be two single crochets in this very first stitch. And then after that, the next 10 will be a single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and then an increase of two in the same stitch all the way back around to the stitch marker. Nine and ten. Hooray! Round twelve is done. You have seventy-two stitches. And now the next 13 rounds, which is 13 through 25, is going to be just a single crochet in each one for 13 rounds. So we'll do the first one together. No, in, no more increases. Not right now. So we're going to mark that first stitch so we don't lose it. But now we're going to start working on taking the hat down. I'm done with the circle part taking it down to make the bucket. So just one single crochet all the way around in each stitch. No more increases. And I will meet you back at the stitch marker in just a moment. I'll use my last three in this round. And that was round 13, but that was the first round. Click of the next 13, they are all exactly the same, 72 single crochets all the way around. So do this 12 more times, total of 13, and I will meet you back when you have all 13 done. Couple stitches. There you go. Now it's starting to look like a hat. So we did the circle up top, working from the top down, and then we now we make the hat part right here. Now we're going to move on to the brim, now that we did those 13. And we're almost done, really, really, we're almost done. So this is round 26. I'm going to do seven single crochets and then an increase. So here's the first one. There's our first single crochet of round 26. I'm going to do seven. There's two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then an increase of two in the same stitch. And continue that all the way around. Seven crochets, seven, seven single crochets, and then an increase. Seven single crochets, increase. All the way around to the back, till we get back to the stitch marker. Seven, and an increase. And we're back to our stitch marker. Great. And that was round 26. 
Round seven, 27 is super easy. Just single crochet all the way around. For, that will be 80 stitches. Go all the way around. One single crochet in each stitch all the way around to the stitch marker. See, I told you this was really easy. 79 and 80. There's round 27. There's only 31 rounds in this entire hat. We're working on the brim right now and it's almost done. So round 28, we're going to do a little bit of an increase. So we're going to single crochet three and then do an increase. There's one. So one, two, three single crochets, and then an increase of two in the same stitch all the way around. So again, that was one, two, three, and an increase, two in the same stitch. One, two, three and an increase and all the way back down to the stitch marker all the way around follow that three increase three increase pattern there you go that was round 28 we only have three rounds left and the next two are super easy just single crochets all the way around twice so that should be 100 stitches all the way around single crochet and all the way around single crochet we're going to do that two times. One single crochet in each stitch all the way around to the stitch marker and then another one just like it for rounds 29 and 30. And here we are. That was the end of round 30. I really like how this is working up. I'm excited by this one. I haven't worked with the brunette pop with this hat. I've always used a double strand, but it seems like it's still working out very nicely, so I'm excited by that. We are on our last round. We're almost done. Our very last round is a slight increase. So we're going to single crochet nine and then do an increase of two single crochets in the same stitch and follow that sequence all the way around. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and an increase. Two single crochets in that stitch. Fantastic. Continue that all the way around to our stitch marker. So nine increase, nine increase. Great. Here's our last set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and an increase. That's fabulous. All right, so technically my pattern is done, but if you option if you want an optional, uh, an optional row, single crochet all the way around just to even up all these stitches. Because sometimes the, when you get the two in the same stitch, they get a little bit of a bubble on them. If you wanted to, you can use uh, round number 32 as a single crochet all the way around. I am going to leave this because I know that this was going to fit my daughter and she is waiting for it. So in order to finish off, I just do a slip stitch in the next available stitch and finish off with a little bit of a tail so I can weave in the ends. And then pull this nice and tight on the inside and you can weave in that end too. Look at that. That is so perfect. I love it. 
Now if you wanted to make it a little bit bigger and a little bit floppier, you could go up to a five and a half millimeter hook. So there you go. We have a bucket hat. You can take the brim down, brim down, or brim up. Any way you want. So this isn't quite as um, firm as the double strand. I just wanted to try it this way, but I think I still like it. I actually like this one very much. So either way, double strand of a four weight like I did here and with the pink one. And this was a single single strand of a four weight, but this was a heavier, it's a thicker strand. So a single weight worked just, or a single strand worked just fine. So, all right. So I'm Beth with Thimble Hooks. Thanks for stopping by. Um, thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to my channel and stop back soon. I have a lot of really great stuff coming up. So it's great to see you. I'll see you soon. Thanks.